Hey, in this video I wanted to uh, go through this uh, XMB parental lock type of thing. Um, you could download it from uh, my blog or you could go to Webman uh, or sorry XMB Manager Plus and download the latest version from here. I'm going to do that method since it uh, seems to be the more convenient way. Uh, it is a uh, tool, I think. Yeah, it's under tools, and here it is XMB Lock version 2.04. That is the latest version by Ermac and Echo 6IV. I'm going to press X to download and then uh, ultimately install that. So, okay, it's doing its thing. That was fast. This tool is for firmware 4.50 all the way up to firmware 4.81. Uh, where did it go? It disappeared. Okay, the tool also allows to install system reboot option for XMB for any CFW Cobra. Okay, so version 2.04, the one we supposedly just installed, which I can't find anywhere, is for uh, firmware 4.81. Let's try downloading and installing again. If it doesn't work, I'm going to have to say that it's a, a bust on uh, version 4.81, Ferox release 1.01. .01. One last try. Downloading. Why suddenly it's so much bigger? Well, apparently, I guess it didn't uh, download properly. Is it a large file? I wonder how big it is. There it says 59 megabytes. What does it say on my computer? Yeah, I would say it's a, about 59 megabytes. That seems about right. So that's one error we have for uh, XMB Manager. I'm going to come back and I'm going to rewatch this video to see if I could pinpoint what happened there, how come it just downloaded part of that uh, file? That's interesting. So uh, once this opens, I hope it um, it'll allow me to uh, lock out the ability to update the firmware via the internet or by disk by accident, thus losing our jailbreak. Okay, I'm going to pause the video here, and I'm going to continue when uh, it's ready. Okay, so uh, finished downloading. Now it's just running the install. So, again, this what this does is it locks the system settings, network settings, and system update settings. So it's the system update thing that I'm more concerned about. There it is. Great thing. Fully worked this time around. I'm going to launch it up, and let's see what it has to say inside, because there's little to no information on the... Release notes. Okay, what does it say? This software is provided without warranty of any kind, express or implied, uh, including but not limited to the warranty, blah, blah, blah. Okay, like, oh, goodness. Reboot option. Settings lock. Reboot option. Settings lock. So, this tool also allows to install a system reboot option for XMB for any CFW Cobra. Okay, reboot option. We'll try that last. Let's try settings lock. Are you sure you want to install settings lock? Uh, if you have some corruption, uh, settings lock. Yeah. Let's lock the settings and see what happens. Okay. I uh, really don't know what that is. Settings lock. I didn't change any settings, so why, why is it locking here? Hmm. 
-hmm. Okay, so install XMB lock and reboot. Go to setting locks and press activate. Now your settings are well, it says it, now your settings is protected. Correct grammar is now your settings are protected. But okay, install XMB lock, okay. Make your settings changes with your choice. So I guess so you've installed it, you change your settings, and then um, you go lock settings. If you want to make changes or update, just select deactivate lock option and all the settings have been unlocked. So that's interesting. So I can go back into the program and choose unlock settings and I can go and I could change my network settings or I could change um, the update file. So it would be interesting to see what the PlayStation says when I try to do a manual update. I'm interested to see. I, I wish this would just speed up. I'm going to pause again the video here and I'm going to come back when it's ready. Okay, so it seems the settings finished. Yeah, I'm going to reboot. Hard reboot. And um, I put in a USB stick with a uh, firmware file on there. And I'm going to go to the um, regular settings menu and see what it says if I try to do a firmware update from the USB. And then I'll try it from the internet and see what it says. User one. System update locked, 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 locked. Interesting. If I press on it, update via internet, does nothing. Update via storage media, interesting. It does nothing. Cool. So this locks that. I can't change the network settings. Or can I? Internet connection settings? Nope, doesn't allow me to open that. Very cool, very cool. PSN, can I sign in? Uh, I'm sure I can. There's nothing stopping me from doing that there, but I won't. So very cool, that's XMB lock. Let's go and uh, it's just, I just want to double check unlocking how quick it is. Settings lock. Lock full, lock light. And I could deactivate lock. Let's deactivate lock. And I think it's just the same simple reverse process. Hmm. This might come in really handy. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.